Happy Halloween. I'm standing here in front of the world famous witch's house in the heart of the flats of Beverly Hills. I'm actually at the corner of Walden and Carmelita and this corner was epic when I was a kid. Growing up we would all come here to Walden and Carmelita to do our trick or treating but more than that we would also have egg fights, shaving cream fights and then they got dangerous with Nair and Mace and they used to have to shut the streets down and then we couldn't come here anymore. But back in the day, this house actually used to be open to the public and you could come in here and it was a haunted house for trick-or-treaters. I'm standing here and you know I've got Nikes with me. Let me grab the first pair. It's the Jason Voorhees edition. This is the first pair of shoes from Nike's Horror Pack and it's the only pair that was actually released. There was actually a sample pair of these that are low tops that are very, very hard to come by. I've never seen them in my size, which is an 11 to 12. I only ever have seen sample size nine in the low tops. So we'll have to look at these shoes. We all know who Jason Voorhees is from Friday the 13th, the movies that started in 1980, there were actually 12 of them. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a 13th in the mix. And ever since these movies, Friday the 13th has become sort of like a haunted holiday in the United States. And I can even remember looking back as a kid, and I'm not even that superstitious, and being afraid of Friday the 13th. So I'm going to move these shoes and talk about the next pair of kicks from the horror pack. They're in an unmarked sample Nike box. These are very, very dope and they're impossible to get your hands on in good sizes. These are a size 11 and they're the Freddy Kruegers from the Nightmare on Elm Street. Let me put this box down and grab the other pair and we'll have a look at these shoes. These shoes are impossible to get your hands on and Nike actually scrapped the release of these kicks because of intellectual property issues because again they didn't pay for the rights to use Freddy Krueger on the upper of this shoe. When you look on the insoles it actually resembles Freddy Krueger's skin and the upper rem is reminiscent of his sweater with the stripes and then blood splatters all over him. These shoes were on display in the Hollywood section with shoes inspired by other movies next to the Jason Voorhees. You gotta love these shoes, you gotta love the Jasons, and you gotta love the witch's house.